So we're going to have a special tessellation, Escher-like tessellation. So what you need is a cardboard, a card. The square works best. You can use a rectangle, but square is always great. So what you need to do is to draw a line from the top end or top side of the square to the bottom side of the square. So draw a line. Right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut. If you get used to this, you don't really need to draw a line or curve but this is easier for kids so we'll do that it is important for children to see to students to see what's happening so once you cut you're going to slide one piece to the other side and you're going to sticky tape it Right. Then we do the same thing. Now this time, from the curved line to the other side of the line. Again, you're going to see what's happening. You match it. This goes to the other side of the shape. You match the end properly. It actually works even you shift the side like this, but just for the peace of the minds, let's match them. Right. This shape now is quite amazing because see the line here and line here, they are exactly the same. So they're actually tessellates. They're, this actually tessellates. So let's flip this paper with a, a pen or texture. You trace it. That's why, this is why you used a cardboard or card to make this shape. So we have to go. Now students need to find the space, find a place that the shape tessellates then trace this again then you can find another space to tessellate the same shape So, that's a little tessellation model. Now, now, i quickly show you one more time. So remember, I'm going to cut this square from the top end to the bottom end, or the bottom side to the top side. It doesn't matter how. You do it but you need to start from the one end and to the opposite end I slide it should I try the one with the unslide it shifted version of it so so once students make one shape they can make another one so, turn 90 degrees. I'm going to cut from the bottom end to the top end again. So, I 
I'm going to move and match. Tessellate. Now you can see the um, there's slight unmatch here, but it doesn't matter. It's meant to be like this, and you can see the tessellation will happen in that shape as well. Okay. Now, You can clearly see this tessellation happens somewhere. Now, where is it? You can see a curve there. You can see a curve there. That's where the shape tessellates. Or you may be able to find right here, there. Where is the little shape there? Where can you see there? That's where the tessellation happens. Let's try this part here. Can you see that little top and the top happens there? Again. So, here's my question. What happens if you, instead of slide, instead of slide, transfer what happens if I flip let's pause the video you can say your opinion you can write your opinion you can just think about it what happens if I do this does it still tessellate let's pause the video so I'm going to flip the shape What happens if I flip the shape? Does it still tessellate? I try the other side as well. I'm going to make it. I slide and I'm going to flip. Does this still tessellate? Let's find out. Let's... So, does this tessellate? This doesn't here. This doesn't look good. But if I flip it, this part tessellates clearly. What about here? This doesn't tessellate. What happens if I flip it? This part tessellates. I like that. Mm. Does this still tessellate? Does it? Hmm. There's a bit of problem here. These tessellated. Now, what happened here? What should I do? So, still does tessellate right here. You can see it. It's a matter of which way you flip. Good luck.